Welcome to the Perfection Selection, a Cream of Cards TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the like button because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Here is a cigarette card set that was issued nearly a hundred years ago in 1916. It shows the roles women took whilst the men were busy fighting for their lives in World War I. Some of you might recall that I did a video of just 10 of the cards from this series not so long ago. Due to the hugely positive response to that video, I decided to splash out a bit and buy the full set of 50 cards. So I have five times the amount of cards that I had in that video. Okay, okay. whilst I show you these cars of women in unusual occupations, well, incredibly unusual for those days, of course, I'll give you an explanation of what led to that social catalyst, that social change, which ultimately laid the foundations for women getting the right to vote and greater independence and helped mould and shape our modern world today and the age of individualism. The printing press, improvements in transportation and schooling had taken the power away from the old aristocracies, as if in a last ditched attempt at clinging on to the old world order, the ruling elites turned the information revolution against the public by using the latest propaganda techniques to persuade millions to sacrifice their lives in World War I, concealing their true selfish motives with patriotic appeals and scaremongering. Now, this might have worked in the short term, but in fact, it probably accelerated their demise in the long term. Whilst the men were busy fighting for king and country in Europe, the women were helping to keep the country running. Class and gender conventions were temporarily put to one side as the fairer sex filled the job vacancies normally reserved for men before the war. Although most women went back to their traditional roles afterwards, it certainly had a lasting effect on the psychology of society, inspiring revolutions in fashion, art and cinema, and moulding and shaping our world today. I guess it's difficult to understand the significance and influence of humble trade cards like these in our world of super fast shoot em up games, throwaway re reality stars, pop idols and weekly 3D blockbuster movies and our billions of meaningful friends on Facebook, of course. But in a world where television didn't exist, radio was a pure novelty and cinema was little more than a fairground attraction. Cars like these had a huge impact on society as companies ruthlessly competed against each other in coming up with subjects that would appeal to their information starved customers, unwittingly providing us with one of the finest records of the interests and preoccupations of the late 19th an early 20th century people, yes, ordinary people like me and you, just think what they could have done with YouTube, hey? Free media democracy. <laughs> okay, let's have a look through these cars. Now, the first one is quite interesting. It features the motor car, a woman driving the motor car. Ooh, shocking. It says on the back, before the war, it was rather an unusual thing to see a woman driving a motor car in a big town. Now it is one of the ordinary sights to see women driving huge vans and lorries and doing it very well too. Here we have women shoveling potatoes for sieving machine. Uh, women have been working in field work for uh, generations, but during World War One, of course, a lot of uh, town-bred women. Um, helps as well in, on the farms and uh, next to that we have driving goods vehicle delivery van um, notice that she's holding some reins so which suggests that it's a horse-drawn cart uh, so uh, horses were still extremely important even then even after the uh, motor car had been invented and next to that we have uh, a woman instructing recruits um, in the art of cooking. Also, uh, some of you might be thinking who actually, you know, put these 
cards together and pr uh, had them printed. And if we turn over the page, we notice women in newspaper offices. So they were even uh, filling, you know, um, roles in the printing industry as well. And of course, we all know that uh, the media, as well as reflecting culture and society it, it's also a driver and shapes and moulds society as uh, Rupert Murdoch knows too well and other media moguls. Here we have a young attractive lady making shells but not seashells. The women can't go to the front line but they can help to uh, keep the men in the trenches supplied with ammunition of all kinds. They have done splendid work in the munition factories helping in the most dangerous as well as the more simple processes. And here we have gardening for women. Although there were not many women gardeners before the war this is work which is very suitable for women. A great many estates now employ only women gardeners. And even after the war, there is no doubt that there, this will be one of the careers many women will adopt. So in other words, it's suggesting that, you know, um, a lot of these women with their new uh, careers will also continue them after the war, which is quite interesting. Here's a brewery worker. This is work which requires a good deal of muscular strength, consequently only really strong women are able to do it. Still there are plenty of fine, strong, able women who are willing to turn their hands to this, as to many other equally strenuous tasks. Here we have a Red Cross nurse. Hospital nursing is of course essentially women's work. But the conditions under which they are working today are entirely without parallel. Uh, hospitals, hospital ships and trains are frequently under deliberate enemy fire. But these fine women have shown themselves utterly indifferent to danger and quite devoted to their duty. If you want to check out the largest collection of videos of movie and World War I cigarette cards, please don't forget to check out my channel. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com oh no i'm afraid we've run out of time but just before you go please leave comments up below and if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this subscribe to the track by clicking on the icon up in the sky a cream of cards tv